Hello, hello, this is QMG. I was so amazed by this video because it shows four intelligent people not knowing what to make out of quantum mechanics. And they think it is utter baloney. Let's watch. What's a quantum internet? Oh, I think this is BS2, and I got a lot of heat for saying what? that. Stacy Okay, so as you can see, they set the tone right away uh, from the beginning. Okay, and uh, they refer to an article, which uh, it refers to uh, the quantum internet, um, which is basically what they are trying to make. Uh, and this is, uh, I guess, uh, the foreign government, right, is putting a lot of investment into uh, uh, the quantum internet, which is would be a way to it would be a way to send information very securely, because it turns out that when you send information with quantums, they are very sensitive. So if you make a measurement, you destroy it, right? And uh, quantum encryption is something that has been known for uh, many, many, many years, and um, and of course is something that it is possible in theory. And there is a technology in order to do that. In fact, there's a, a company that is starting called uh, Quantum Exchange that actually uh, basically sends little pieces of light uh, and already sell uh, as a means to uh, as, as means to send encryption. Uh, and it is secure because if somebody tries to tap into it, it, it destroys a message. So then the party receiving the message would know that somebody's tapping into it, and um, and. So either it gets there or it doesn't get there. Once it doesn't get there, then you stop sending encryptions, right? You figure out what's wrong, okay? So it is, it is not baloney as these guys. And, and I find this video very interesting because um, it, it shows um, how very intelligent people it, um, basically have a hard time conceptualizing quantum mechanics that... Um, it affects their the decisions, right? The decisions they they make uh, in terms of um, uh, you know the, it affects the the political side that they take on this one. So in this case, they would I, I suppose they would argue let's not fund quantum mechanics, right? Let's not fund uh, all these quantum internet because it sounds like science fiction, right? Let's keep watching because it gets very interesting. In front of internet. You're still sending data. What does a quantum computer have to do with it? Stacy's going to tell me where I'm all wrong and stupid here, but it made no sense to me. And the story didn't explain it at all. It was a poorly... Notice how he's angry for not understanding. Oh, you're trying to fool me. Okay. Written a story in the Washington you Post. You Stacy. And I think that that was part of the problem, was that the person who was writing it... But the story was about how they... Stacey's looking for it in the rundown, I think. The federal I'm government... Sorry, yeah. Okay, so these guys try to be a little more sensible, saying, well, what I find baloney is the way he writes it. Well, usually these articles are very concise. They're, they're not going to show you all the, all the details about quantum mechanics, right? So they, they have to be as brief as possible just to give you a taste of what's going on. And sometimes they try to... Uh, give you tangible scenarios to try to explain the situation, but even professional uh, physicists have a hard time explaining quantum mechanics with uh, common language. And any physicist will tell you that every time you try to conceptualize uh, quantum mechanics in simple language, you're most likely you're going to make a mistake. Okay, we all make those mistakes. Donated, not donated, it's never a donation. The federal government is spending $700 million a year to develop, and this was the headline of the story, a hacker-proof quantum internet, a second oh, this, internet. Okay. No, okay. Line this 84. is Yeah, this is with um, quantum computing. I Oh, that is so funny. Notice how, how, she, how she's trying to compute things. You know, she was even covering her eyes, you know, like she's doing a very difficult math problem. <laughs> Think, and I haven't read well, let me, I'll read. I'll read it to you, Stacey, okay. so you don't okay. have to. There we go. Um, and I'll read you a couple of the things 
that boggled my mind and made now look people people message me as if I had no idea what a qubit was or what quantum computing was. <laughs> it, okay, so he's kind of saying I know what quantum computing is, but here's the thing: don't confuse quantum computing with quantum encryption, okay, uh, or or uh, any means to send secure information over the internet, which is what this article is talking about. Okay, two different things. It's, it's how many, how many of the, you have 40 of them make an arc. Noah, yeah. no, I know what a qubit is. I know what quantum <laughs> computing is. I'm well aware of that. I know they've even made quantum computers. It's not that, but it's a quite a leap from these relatively simple and primitive quantum computers to a second internet that is hacker proof. What? What? I actually think that this hacker proof uh, quantum internet is a little easier to make technologically speaking than the quantum computer. I and mean, quantum computers still, you know, years ahead, but when it comes to, you know, sending information with little photons, it's a little, you know, easier to send one photon at a time as there are, there are already companies doing that. It's a little more difficult when you have an entanglement and you um, you try to sort of teleport information, but it has been done. Okay, it's been done already. The Chinese already uh, were able to teleport uh, via satellite uh, quantum information. Yeah, you're hearing it correctly. It's not science fiction. Okay, it's being done already. Uh, of course, doing it, you know. Uh, you know, in a in a reliable way, it's a little more difficult to do do it, but um, it is you know it, it is doable, certain for uh, for sure. So the issue that he's talking about quantum computer that's a separate issue from from the issue that this uh, article is dealing with. It, the only similarity they, they both have is that they both talk about quantum mechanics. Uh, let's keep watching. One of the reasons this reporter must have gotten this wrong. Gene Whalen writing in the Washington you Post. A quantum internet relies on photons exhibiting a quantum state known as entanglement, which allows them to share information over long distances without having a physical connection. This made no sense. It, you're right, Jeff. Okay. <laughs> the person writing this article is referring to the quantum entanglement. Uh, for them, it's science fiction. It makes no sense that two to uh, quantums can be coordinated. The measurements are correlated even far, far away without the exchange of energy and mass. It's kind of hard to write about that in a small article. So that's what he's talking about. So, I mean, he could have written a little more about it, obviously, because this is, I suppose, it's an article for everyone. But... Um, I mean, at some point, you have to tell people, maybe you want to go read a book. Maybe you should have put a citation there, you know, just to help people who are lost. Ooh, what is this? Are you crazy? Maybe have put some some link right there so that people read about it. You know, uh, they won't be so puzzled about it. That doesn't make sense. <laughs> So there have been research. So there's been research into quantum entanglement as a oh, method. Okay. Bingo. Bingo, she just hit the right topic, right? Oh, quantum entanglement. Oh, I know, I know. Of transmitting information. And I, they may be talking about that. So that <laughs> yes, isn't actually quantum computing. That is, that is, and if you, if you do. See, no, she's correcting. Okay, oh, finally. Oh, it's not quantum computing. It's something else. If you Google like quantum entanglement, and I just pulled up the report from the DOE, this is I, I'm I'm looking at the blueprint. So what they're talking about isn't quantum computing; it's it's information transfer via quantum entanglement. Right. And that is so nascent. Um, so it's not BS, but it is not like real yet. If that okay, it's not real yet. It is real. It's real already. Some companies already can actually do it. Just a matter of putting it in place, which costs money. You can certainly send a photon one by one. And if you tap into it, it collapses. So it destroys the information. So that way, 
they know that the information was tapped and that they can start sending uh, a new encryption, right? Or they can figure out what, what, what is going on, right? They can actually do something about it. When you know somebody's tapping, it helps. Yeah, it's, uh, it's and, a, a fairly speculative. They also I say, can, and I love this. Fairly speculative. No, it's not speculation. The theory behind this one is very well developed, okay? It'll be hacker proof because of the Heisenberg uncertainty principle. The networks yeah. promise to be more secure, some say unhackable, because of the nature of photons and other quantum bits known as qubits. Any attempt to observe or disrupt these particles would automatically alter their state and destroy the information being transmitted. <laughs> this is true. Uh, this is true, but this is not going to make it a secure network. <laughs> it just makes it a very easily disrupted network. Yeah, but that, that's not a good... <laughs> Yeah, of course. Somebody can destroy the information. It sounds like, well, anybody can just destroy the information and then uh, we don't gain anything. But if you think about it right now, anybody can break the information by cutting the cable, right? If you, if you, if you get angry with your, with your neighbor, well, don't do this, but if you get angry with your neighbor, you know, you can cut a cable, you know, there, you know, some cable that gets information to them and uh, they will not get the information, right? So, I mean, I, I, don't, I don't see why that's not, um, why, why he's finding that too funny, right? When you think about it. So, yeah. In, there's, there's legitimate fears about quantum computing killing encryption. That's so legitimate they may be because they're yeah, potentially they may be very completed. powerful. Now she's jumping to another topic. Oh, I remember. I remember that there's an article about quantum computing. She she's just going back, you know, trying to relate it in some way to the information. But no, she's not in the right topic. But I understand. I understand. Yeah. So much yeah. math. No, no, this is an announcement that Governor Pritzker, J.B. Pritzker of Illinois, the mayor of uh, Chicago, Lori Lightfoot, are at an, uh, we're at a big announcement. Uh, in Chicago, because the is DOA, is? The, the, the DOE is going to fund this new second internet, this second unhackable quantum yeah. entangled internet. And of course, the issue of funding has to come in because you have to understand, if people don't believe in this, do you think they're going to be saying, hey, it's okay that you take my money? So that you fund your little research project. And as you can see why. Why it has been so difficult for the last, like, I say 20 years to get something done with quantum mechanics. It's not that there is, it's not that it's impossible to make some of these things work. There were limitations on the technology, of course, that had been overcome and now it's better, but that is, it is, it is a little frustrating when you look at other countries that have been able to put all their efforts into it, you know, like China, for instance. Okay, they have put so much time, money, and effort into developing uh, quantum technology because they do realize that this is important. And a lot of people just don't realize how this can be a threat to national security, right? I, I compare this to uh, the, the atomic bomb, okay? Um, it's an analogy, okay? You know, when the atomic bomb was created, uh, well, first of all, they didn't know if it was possible to do it, right? But it was a race. It was a race. Who gets that bomb done first? Because that determines, in some ways, how the war is going to end, right? And when it comes to safe ways of sending information, it's also important. If you look at the way... Turing was able to break 
the uh, the 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 German codes, you can see how important you could see how important it is to be able to have information secure, because if you can hack it, you can actually know what the enemy is going to do, right? And you can uh, and something can be done, right? So that's why this is very important. And a lot of people don't see it like that, unfortunately. It's a race. Uh, they're get, of course, the people who are most excited about this are the scientists who are getting money for it. Uh, they quote a professor at the uh, Pritzker School of Molecular Engineering at the Argonne National Lab, calling the Internet Project a pillar of the nation's quantum research program. David Auschlam said it's the birth of a new technology. It's becoming a global competition. Every major country on earth has launched a quantum program. We have a quantum gap because it's becoming clearer and clearer. There will be big impacts. Um, of course. Now, and then I think the reporter just kind of spun up some crazy stuff like eventually computers might also tap into the quantum Internet to buy products with less risk of yep. their credit card details being hacked. The writer is trying to make it more tangible for people to understand, right? I don't think it is too crazy what he's doing. Actually, the the writer of these, uh, I I, I would commendate the writer uh, because the writer is really trying to get the message across in a very simple way, and is giving examples, right? Or just... that's, that's just trying to make it relatable. <laughs> that's the so dead course. baby right there. Is that what that yeah, is? Yeah, there, I was about to say, there's your dead baby, but I said uh, I would stop saying that. Uh, it's no, possible it. consumers will surf seamlessly between the regular and quantum internets as they make purchases and send information without necessarily knowing whether they're switching platforms. All right, well. Awesome. So it's, um, as you can see, um, that's why I'm doing this. I am really trying to transmit what quantum mechanics is all about so that you know, people become educated. So people um, learn that um, this technology is here. Okay? And it can make a huge difference in uh, many aspects of life. Okay? But it is even hard for uh, professional scientists to understand it and to explain it in simple words, so. Cliché, it is what it is. This is QMG.